Mickey Novak here for Young Hollywood at the happiest place on earth, Disney's D23 Expo. We're here to chat with the creator and cast of Gravity Falls. Sweet rose crunch and marmalade. These plants look all Jurassic-y. Huh, this little fella smells like battery acid. <laughs> Oh, looks like I lost my sense of smell. <laughs> the number one show, the number one animated series. How does that feel to be number one? <laughs> I mean, it feels really good. It's the only place I want to be. I'm going to be really honest. I lie most of the time. Drop it on me. OK. When I first saw your face, I'm like, this man is not the creator. He's way too young to be the creator of such an empire. How, how do you, how? I want some of what you're, you have. Uh, when you work at Disney, there's a fairy dust in the air and you actually age backwards. I'm Benjamin buttoning as we speak before your very oh eyes. God. Yeah, you know, I came sort of right out of college. I got a call from Disney and they said, pitch us something and I just, you know, I, I, I got lucky. <laughs> Wait, Disney called you. You didn't even call Disney. That's Disney true. called you. Disney called Again, me. I need some of what you're having. They, where, where did you go to school? What, where, <laughs> where do you come from, you strange one? The, the, the context is YouTube. You know, it used to be that in order to get a show seen or get studios to know who you were, you'd need to work for years in the industry, have an agent, climb the ladder. Now we're kind of in an amazing new time where if you put something funny online and it gets popular right. on YouTube, you could get a call from Disney, and that's exactly what happened to me. Is there pressure now? You just got renewed for another season? Yeah. As if anybody had doubted that that was going to happen. Yeah. But I'm seeing people with Mabel sweaters that have light up sweaters. I know, there's some really great Mabels here. No refund, huh. no refund, no refund. No refund. Whoa, look! Oh, it's Stan's memories! Great. I'm sure there's plenty of memories of Stan bossing me around. Can't wait to see more of that. Come on, Dipper. We've got to find the code before Bill does. Mabel is talking! So rad! Let's get searching! <laughs> well, you play two characters on mm -hmm. the show. That's right, yeah. Could we get... Could I bribe you to do a little of each? Right. Can I get a dude for Seuss? Uh, uh, dude, dude, what's up? Yo, it's me, Seuss. You're gonna love me, America! A little Grunkle. What would you ask Grunkle Stan if you had a question for Grunkle Stan? Is it okay to push the lines, push the boundaries of the law? Because you so often do. You know, that's an excellent question. My philosophy in life is, when there's no cops around, anything's legal. Am I right? That's what I always say. Is there anything mysterious that you can let us know about season two? Oh, there's so much that I can't even crack it open. I can't give you any secrets because I don't know what shows are going to air on season two because we recorded them like a year ago. Did you really? Yeah. When I saw on your panel at Comic-Con, you said that you used to respond to all the fan letters, but you've gotten so many fans now, you can't respond to all of them. Yes, I know how Santa Claus feels now. It's too much. No, it, it's true. The beard, true. the beard, right? Uh, little by little, I'm working on it. No, when, when we uh, first started, um, we, we started, fan mail started trickling in. I remember the first letter, it was like, I was so excited. It was like the first, you know, flake of snow of winter and then just an avalanche. I was keeping it up for a few months and then I, I took a break for a week and when I came back, the pile was insurmountable. So I'm okay so. with you not responding to my letter then. So I'm, uh, I'm really I'm okay, sorry. okay, now I understand. Well, speaking of you <laughs> writing things, you signed, here, I have these bags. I went to Subway. Oh my goodness. They smell Gravity like turkey falls. subs. <laughs> they, they do. They do, actually. And you get these bags. That is correct. Mm. Bags for fresh fit for kids meal. A thousand of these bad boys you signed, and they're giving them out? I signed a thousand bags. Yes, that was you. And they'll be giving them out very soon. <laughs> That's a character I play, yeah. Very cute. What do you get when you're at Subway? What's your go-to sandwich? Yeah, I, um, I usually get the six-inch tuna with a, a southwestern chipotle mayo. Gives it that kick. You like a little kick? Uh, other than that, I like to keep it simple, you know, um, a little bit of lettuce, and I usually get the white chip macadamia nut. She wasn't expecting a real answer to this question, but I eat at Subway all the time. I just want what you're having, because I figure now I'm going to order what you order, and I'm going to have my own show, and, have and it's going to be show, number one. And you'll grow a tiny little beard. <laughs> that part I don't want. I don't want the beard. <laughs> and I know you leave fans at the end of every show with a secret message. Can you leave Young Hollywood with a secret message? Uh, well, you know, most of those messages are written in a, either a numeric Miracle code, or uh, and and I I I have to use a code maker myself that's <laughs> online. So uh, I, you know the the only uh, coded message I could say is um, uh, don't keep watching Gravity Falls. Wink. <laughs>
I wonder if you can figure better. out what I really meant. I wonder. What did I really mean by that? No reverse psychology at all. It's there. a mystery. It is.